It is a sad but true story that at times religion has marginalized particular groups, and that's true for racial groups, for different classes, economic classes, and also pretty consistently true for gender. I think that arises from both the culture. We have to recognize that uh, patriarchy is a pretty incipient part of culture from ancient times until today. And then some of the texts on the um, very surface reading sound very harsh against women. I do not allow a woman to teach or have authority over a man, 1 Timothy 2. I think it demands of us some effort to understand what does Paul in that instance, or uh, maybe uh, I, I think those letters are by Paul, that's question, but what does the author of the New Testament mean? What's going on in that situation? How can I better understand that time? And then what this word might have to say to my own time. And I think the easy, if I might say it that way, the easy is, well, yeah, women can't do anything. And so there's been a segregation, uh, a devaluing of women, but there have been parts of the canon that I think have not been as prominent, and especially in circles that have marginalized women, where you have women doing important work of preaching the gospel. I think of Junia. Now, her apostleship is debated, Romans 16, but she is so proclaiming the gospel that she gets imprisoned for it. Well, she's doing the work. And so debates will continue about things like ordination, but I believe that if we pay close attention to the text, we can't but help notice that God values and involves women in God's work.